Shalom my friends from here in Israel. I want to give you an update on the terror situation that uh, everyone here in Israel is facing. Just a few thoughts that are going through my mind. Today I had to go into Jerusalem. I gave a speech to Holocaust survivors who wanted to know about the fellowship's work and wanted to know about Jewish Christian relations. And so I had this speech schedule for months in advance and the whole weekend I was feeling nervous for going into Jerusalem because as we've seen, Jerusalem's a big city and there have been lots of terror attacks there. And as I was getting ready for work to go to Jerusalem, I turned open the news and I see that there was a female suicide bomber who was on her way to Jerusalem. And thank God the Israeli police caught her before she got to Jerusalem and the car blew up before it got to Jerusalem, was able to harm any civilians. And these are the types of things that we go through when there's a terror wave or an intifada here in Israel. Every single normal activity is questioned. And I went into Israel and I was walking from my car to the office, a two minute walk on the busy streets of Jerusalem. And every second I was just looking behind my back, feeling nervous that God forbid someone could come and stab me from behind. Every single person is on alert and you see people are walking and looking behind them. And uh, thank God, Everything was quiet today and I got home safely and now I'm home. But there are a lot of little things in the day-to-day -day life that you have to realize that the Israelis face when we're faced with these situations of terror. Last night there were rockets launched at Israeli cities from the Hamas ruled Gaza Strip. Today there was a suicide bomber on the way to Jerusalem. There were stabbings, there were rocks being thrown, but besides the people that are directly affected and harmed physically by the terror, it affects everyone's life. Today driving to Jerusalem, there are two roads I could have taken. One of them is a road that's a little bit more safe than the other. And so I took that road and ended up driving for an extra hour to get into Jerusalem. That I didn't take the quicker road because there's oftentimes uh, rock attacks on that road. That I was nervous to go to work in Jerusalem because of all the attacks. That when I walked down the street, I looked behind my back. And it's not just me. This is what every single Israeli faces. When we leave for work in the morning, when we send our kids to school, we pray to God that we'll come home in one piece, safe and healthy. And even our office in Jerusalem, the fellowship offices in Jerusalem, are giving out free pepper spray to all of our employees. How sad a day it is that the office has to give out pepper spray to the employees because we're worried about attacks. So we're praying for peace. We believe that God will bless us with peace and the fellowship is continuing to bless the people of Israel, especially during this time of terror and fear. And you your behalf and letting the people of Israel know that millions of Christians and Jews around the world stand with Israel and her people. So please continue to pray and I hope to come to you soon with a video with happy, joyous, celebratory news. From here in Israel, this is Yael.